All right, so now that you've got your dynamic blocks made, you've got everything uh, set up that you need to, as far as the block end of these things go, this thing goes, uh, now you're gonna draw uh, the op amp. So what you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna start drawing in a brand new drawing. You're gonna import the blocks from your op amp symbols using the design center. Actually, it says to use the design center. Go ahead and make a tool palette, tool palette and then just yeah. use your tool palette. So, um, come into AutoCAD. We're gonna open up a brand new drawing. You're going to uh, bring in the blocks, you know, as, as needed. You're gonna bring them in here. One thing that I'm gonna do, and this is, it's sort of cheating, although it's sort of just teaching y'all something cool if you didn't know it already, is uh, this step right here. Y'all won't be able to do this, but uh, border, circuit, symbols, text, XREF, and all of that. These are layers that you have to make. I don't want to waste your time making those layers because you guys know how to make layers. I don't want to waste your time staring at me doing it. So I'm going to go in here to insert design center and I'm going to find that drawing under open drawings. I can grab layers out of another drawing. Dimensions, I don't know, symbols. Anyway, so I've got several different layers that I'm working with here that I've put in here. I do also want to create an XREF layer. I didn't see one in that list, but any old color. I'm going to set that XREF layer current. And what I need to do, let's make sure I'm following the directions. So create the layer configuration. I just did that. There it is. Create a tool palette. So the tool palette, see that seems weird. Where did it say that? Design center. So don't do the design center. That's the whole point. Creating a tool palette. We're going to do that. Now it says to draw the circuit. And this is, I'm only going to take you a few more steps into this. But to draw that circuit, what we're going to do is we're going to XREF in a file that already has those lines on it, and we're going to clip the XREF. And then you're going to start drawing your circuit from there. And I want to show you how to do that because, um, like, seeing it in action and doing that clip, I want to see. I want you to see me do it. So I'm going to come in here to my blank drawing. Uh, I've got my XREF layer current. I'm going to say Insert, Attach. I'm attaching a DWG, so you know how it's asking for image files. It kind of defaults to that. Intermediate, Unit 2. There's a drawing called Grid Underlay. You're going to XREF in Grid Underlay. You're not going to open Grid Underlay and copy it over. You're going to XREF it in. So you're going to XREF that, insertion point, just let it come in at 0, 0. There's nothing nested inside of it, so it's okay to do an attachment. I'm going to turn off my grid because there's a grid already on here, and it's crazy. So look at all those crazy, crazy lines. There's a ton of them. I'm going to go home. It tells me in here, freeze all the layers in the XREF except a layer called grid 2.0. So there's a 2-inch grid in here somewhere. So I'm going to freeze, 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 freeze until I just see that grid 2.0. This is one piece again, so this is an XREF. Now what I'm going to do is under that same insert tab, I'm going to click on crop or clip, select the XREF that I want to clip. I'm going to set a new boundary. It's going to be rect rectangular. And we're going to bring this in. And it says to make it 26 by 26. So I can either snap here. Or it says to make it 13 units. But it's a 2 it's a two inch grid. So 13 units would be 36. Or 26. So I'm going to clip it to this point. And I can see my grid right there. One cool thing that you can do with an XREF. Is you can actually set the transparency on it make it really transparent. I like to do that so it fades off in the, black, in the back. If it's too dark and my lines are dark, it's hard to tell where my lines are and where the grid is. So I like to do that. Uh, and then you're going to go home and you're just going to start drawing this thing. So we're going to set the circuit layer current and then you're just going to start drawing your lines just using that grid, however it is that you need to draw those lines. Um, 
that's what we were doing here. Oh, it says lock your XREF layers, so we've got to go back. <coughs> it's good to lock it so that you can't accidentally um, delete it. Yeah, trim, delete, you know, something like that. So it's locked in the background. If you find that your lines are going underneath the grid, you can select an object, right click, and you can do draw order. Send that to the back so that your lines come out on the front of it. So if that happens to you, just send your grid to the back. And that's it, you're just gonna start drawing. And you've got, where did it go? This guy right here. So basically what's gonna happen is you, this is the final product. You're gonna draw the grid. You're gonna place in all your bot blocks. Well, this is one way you can do it. You can either draw it the way that you see it. Some people do this and they just draw. Or you can draw out a big grid, place your blocks where you need it, and then trim out all the lines. And then once the lines are trimmed out, you can come in and trim your blocks. And once you've done that, this is where you're going to add your notes. Um, however, the notes that you're adding in here, we've actually, this is a this is a unneeded step now because we've made these blocks into attributed blocks. They didn't used to be when I made this. So um, that's it. You guys are going to work on this. You're going to plot it from uh, a layout, so you're going to use a layout. It'll talk to you about that. You can use the Design Center to grab your, what are we going to use, the Civil Layout? Did they call it, did y'all call it Civil last yes. week? Mm -hmm. So that Civil Layout, you're basically going to use that same exact one for every project except the architectural project this semester. So you're going to grab that Civil Layout and you're going to put it in here when it comes time to plot. I will probably show you guys, ooh, that would be bad, I guess, if you missed all of Wednesday. You could watch my lecture online if you wanted to, but I need to show y'all at some point um, how to make a doit. Yes, sir. I was transferred the uh, the the um, the, the, um, 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 the trying circuit plan to the um, to civil. Well, you're going to use that civil template that you used. Yeah. Um, and we, really, it's called Sybil, but um, there, you know, it's not specific. The, 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 actually, I don't know why I said Sybil template. I'm confusing things. You're going to use your mechanical title block. Yeah, mechanical, oh, that's what I mean. Okay. Or this. Yeah. In my head, that was the same as the Sybil template. So, okay, so that. then what do we need to do then? We need, I mean, like, we do this and put that on the mechanical title block page and then submit it or what you read up on how to do a submitted dwif or yeah um we'll be doing it as a dwif if i've got 30 minutes i can show y'all how to do a dwif if you want yeah today yeah and then you can watch the video if you need it so um maybe i'll i'll do that and that way you just knocked out one big giant lecture day and then wednesday is just so if we're caught up and we turn everything in though do we need to do we need to be here on Wednesday or not? We don't get food. Like yeah. Four if you want, if you need, <laughs> if you great. need the time in your life or other classes or whatever, mm -hmm. and okay. you've got the time to work on it today and tomorrow or whatever, you don't have to come Wednesday. Okay. If you brought, if you're done with that project and you've submitted it, I'll go into Blackboard and make sure that everything is ready. ready it's open. You can submit whatever you need to. Um, if you submitted your project one already, I haven't even looked. I mean, I was. Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, teaching that class. Had a weekend. Actually came in and recorded videos over the weekend. Did, did teaching this, so say, I haven't even looked. Do we have something graded in, to go in and check? or You yeah. won't get an email saying it, but you can check your gradebook and see. Okay. So if you guys want to do that, I can just mm -hmm. stop right now and just do a lecture on DWIFs. Mm -hmm. Is that?